Yes guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome to the George Benson Football Channel for six things that we learned from Chelsea to Wolverhampton Wanderers 4. Look, I've had enough guys. I've absolutely seen enough of Pochettino in the dugout at Chelsea. You go to Anfield, you get absolutely humiliated three days ago and the response is like silence, void. Players literally giving absolutely nothing out there on the field. Couple of players that can get away with it. Again, Petrovic concedes a bundle of goals again, but he can't really do much about them. Cole Palmer scores a lovely goal. It's a great Chelsea goal. All the midfielders involved. And Palmer puts the ball in the back of the net. He didn't do too badly. Other than that, there is zero quality out there today for Chelsea. Embarrassing individual performances, and look, Pochettino, he's got no idea what he's doing with these players. He was supposed to be the saviour, to come in, be able to work with a young group of players and save Chelsea, because we thought that last season was going to be enough. This is as bad as it's going to get, but no, it's not. It gets worse. It gets worse and worse and worse, and having seen Wolves today come to Stamford Bridge. Not only have they scored four goals, but they have also outplayed us, outmuscled us, outfought us, and they go ahead of us now in the Premier League table. I've seen enough. Pochettino has to go. There's no plan B. The moment that things go wrong, and that was from the moment we conceded the equaliser, which, by the way, you go 1-0 up at Stamford Bridge. Within 120 seconds, we are already drawing the match and there was a couple of the goals that you could be like well there's heavy deflections there like we said Petrovic can't really do much to avoid it but at this point it's like well you know Chelsea are behind what are we going to do are we going to see some some rallying are we going to see something a little bit different absolutely not of course we're not because these players aren't good enough they don't care they're not being coached properly and there is no progress. Week after week, game after game, we're trying to like see patterns. We're trying to buy in to the idea about, yet yeah, we're moving in the right direction. Yes, it's getting a bit better. Oh, look, the results have been good. Yeah, when well, we're playing against the three teams that are going to get relegated. Chelsea are an absolute disaster. And there are even players today that I've made videos dedicated to that have had absolute shockers today. Moises Caicedo in particular gets hoiked off after, I think, 62 minutes, and then he decides to destroy a chair in the dugout. You know, this is exactly the kind of mess that we're in. Wolves fans are singing about us being effing shite, and Chelsea fans are singing, yeah, we are. It's an absolute calamity what has happened to this football club. It's shoddy, and it pains me. It really does, because I don't see any way out now other than to be like, look, we've got to start seeing plan B. Potts don't have a plan B. Any manager who comes into Chelsea, seemingly Potter, Lampard, Pochettino, they don't have a plan B. Tuchel doesn't want to try something new. Look, Chelsea fans, what we want right now is to see something a bit different. I don't want to see Raheem Sterling play for Chelsea anymore. He doesn't do anything. He's rubbish. I don't want to see Mudrik even come off the bench. He's rubbish. Like I'm, I'm sick and tired of seeing the same thing over and over and over again. But we've put... I've got, I've got to get into this here. Box number one is a red box for Thiago Silva, unfortunately. This is a very, very negative video today. I'm also knackered, by the way. I've had a busy weekend and... I was looking forward to this game. I wanted to see Chelsea tonight put in something that was different to what we saw at Anfield. There needs to be a conversation had here now about Thiago Silva. It's at that point where he's not got the legs. There was a time where the game's at, I think, 3-1 before Gusto brings the Wolves player down to make it 4-1 from the Cunha penalty. Thiago Silva, yes, he does score for Chelsea. Gets up well from the header. Could have had another one earlier where he did the same. But, like... Your primary job as a centre-back is defending. And he's not got the legs anymore. Neto was running him ragged 
Wolves were all over us today. And we we can see if it's not just like we've got a 39-year-old expected to marshal the back line who's obviously not got the same legs that he used to. That's part of the problem. The other part is the players just are not very good. But Thiago Silva, as much as he scored that goal, there needs to be a question had now. And we just desperately hope that Wesley Fofana, when he comes back from this injury, the next, well, the next injury, let's just hope that he gets back in there and he can actually be that defender that he was at Leicester. We move into box number two. I've given a red to Moises Caicedo. I gave praise. About a week ago, I made a video talking about why everyone's wrong about Caicedo. Today, I think what he does when he goes off the pitch, when he starts destroying a chair, don't fully quote me on that, I only saw a little clip of it, but it looked as though he was ripping a chair, taking out his fury on a bloody chair. Do you know what, mate? Stop destroying chairs, and why don't you start tackling people, actually going for the ball instead of the legs of the player? He was useless today, wasn't he? I mean, everyone. At this football club right now, it's absolutely useless from the owner, the director, the players. Moises Caicedo. This bloke, I I mean, I've, I've, I don't know what to say. I'm actually losing it. I'm really losing it. I don't even know what to flip and say. Box number three is a red for Conor Gallagher. I've been talking about maybe it would be time to take Gallagher out of the team because maybe the balance isn't quite working. Maybe it's time to try and make the most. Out of those £200 million players, if the club are obviously going to be looking to sell Gallagher in the summer for pure profit, ladies and gentlemen, bloody hell, everybody was poor. Absolutely everybody was poor, but Gallagher, touch was poor, passing was poor, didn't offer anything going forward. Chelsea didn't offer anything going forward. Nicholas Jackson also comes on, misses an absolute sitter. It's, it's just the same repeating of the motions here. And I feel as though I'm at a point in the video where I'm actually just so annoyed that I feel like I'm just repeating myself over and over again. We are shocking. Box number four is a red for Malo Gusto, a player who I actually think is a solid footballer, but he was, he was run ragged today. And I think when you look at the way that Gusto brings down the Wolves man for the penalty, it's pure frustration, left, right and centre from these players who I'm, I'm sure not all of them are giving 12% effort, which I think some of them, it's just laughable how I actually think we could put a bunch of Chelsea influencers on the pitch and the results might not actually be as bad as some of the footballers on hundreds of thousands a week right now. Gusto was caught out today. And I think for him, it's alarming when he's actually one of the quicker, the, the more competent footballers at the club right now. 20-year-old flipping fullback or 21-year-old, whatever he is. But even today, he was done. Box number five, Raheem Sterling. I said, I don't want to see him play for Chelsea again. What is he? What is it? What, what is he? At Raheem Sterling is a footballer at Chelsea Football Club now. First half, absolutely shocking. I mean, there were moments where he was trying to get like in the channels, trying to receive the ball when Thiago Silva's there, like doing this because no one moves. Nobody moves to receive the ball. No one's trying to get the ball. And unfortunately, that is all down to the manager. Maurizio Pochettino, look, it's been seven months now, six and a half months, seven months, and Chelsea look better in pre-season than we have all season long, apart from Tottenham away, where we were shocking, but we won 4-1 because we played against nine men, and Man City at home, and we didn't even win that game. We didn't even beat Man City at home, by the way. Just to remind you that that is probably the best Chelsea have been this season. I actually don't see a world where Maurizio Pochettino goes to Cobham tomorrow morning for anything other than collecting his stuff. It's at that point where you need to respond to embarrassing performances by putting in effort. There's no effort. The players are not playing for the manager. The manager isn't capable to adjust things in-game to make Chelsea more favoured in the match. Wolves absolutely dominated Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. They've not won at Stamford Bridge since 1979. you got £100 million players coming off after an hour and getting angry with a seat in the dugout. Like, no, no one's playing for Pochettino. And I think it's at that point now where I'm like, look, it didn't work out. 
cheers for trying, mate, if that's what you've done. But at the end of the day, you're a Spurs manager. You don't belong here. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I, I've given up. I, I don't know what else to say about these lot. 